Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of VGC Prep. I'm your host, Ryan, and last episode, we actually had a chance to win with Shuckle, but I kind of made a mistake, and, and this is something that I need to remember. Um, if I'm in a situation where I, I only have one turn to use an attack before I can rest, uh, I have to go for Toxic, and the reason for that is um, uh, Infestation only lasts four to five turns, and rest, when you're sleeping, usually lasts about four turns. So if I get a low turn roll on that, uh, unfortunately, I won't be doing enough damage to catch up, because then, as soon as I wake up, they'll run out of infestation, and I'll have to go right back to sleep, so I'm not going to be able to renew it. And that's an issue. So if I go for Toxic, at least the damage builds up. So if in four turns, say they had already recovered all their HP, Toxic basically, I think it's exponentially rises. So eventually it's gonna be doing so much damage that they're gonna have to switch out. Now it does reset on the switch out, but that's not a big deal. Also, I looked it up just so I can confirm my, my what I remember. And um, Toxic plus Infestation, does a total of 105% damage over the course of four turns. So that's turn one toxic, or yeah, turn one toxic, turn turn two infestation, doesn't matter which order you do it. I think actually if you do toxic first, you might actually get uh, more damage going, but it'll still only take about four turns. Um, and of course, if there's steel or poison, it's not gonna work. Um, so looking at this team, we've got a Gardevoir, a Thunderous, a Skarmory, a Haxorus, a Heatran, and a Crobat. So I'm going to start off with, um, actually I don't know who I should start off with. Um, let's go Shuckle, let's go Aromatisse, let's go Gastrodon, and let's go Rotom. Uh, I would bring Mawile, but I'm a little weary of the Heatran, and I, you know, I, I don't want to deal with it. Um... You know, it actually probably would have been very good. Ah, I didn't think of that. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, Gastron will be there for us. Uh, he doesn't have anything to hit me super effectively with on my uh, my uh, Shuckle outside of a Flash Cannon from Heatran. But I don't think that's a big deal. Now, Heatran will be a problem to whittle down with Shuckle because I'd only have Infestation for him. Um, but we're going to play this a little safe. We're not going to set up if we can't. Um, we have ta taunt blockers, that's why I'm bringing Aromatisse, and, pl and plus he doesn't really have anything that that's so overly powerful that I need to bring Porygon to. You know, if he starts off with Haxorus, I, I have the Fairy type, you know. Um, now he could have Poison Jab, that is true, but we'll see what we can do there. I should be able to take a Poison Jab pretty easily. Um, so Shuckle and Aromatisse, these are like the dynamic duo, you can't, you can't play Shuckle without this. Uh, and we're going to see Heatran and Skarmory, actually. Um, now, that's interesting. Um, I think the best thing I can do is switch out my Shuckle right away into Gastrodon and get Trick Room going. Let's see if this Skarmory has, like, Steel Wing. I don't think it will. It might, maybe, sh maybe Taunt. Uh, which we might see, but I'm bringing in the Gastrodon. Oh, what? Heat Wave. Okay. Okay. Let's... Tailwind. Okay, that works for me very well. Good. So I think we saw the Heatran with the Air Balloon, so I'm going to just see what my speed tiers are. Um, and I should be able to take out the Heatran. If not, I could just probably go for something else. Um, no, I want speed, not my moves. So 39 and 30. So I should be able to pop his balloon. So that's what we'll do. We're going to Earth Power the Heatran. And we're going to Drain and Kiss the Heatran. Pop his balloon. I think I saw him balloon. I saw a balloon, but I didn't see who it was. And I kind of... Obviously, it's going to be on Heatran, but maybe he's just kind of made a mistake and put it on Skarmory. Um, but this is my best potential. Um, he's probably going to switch out if we're going to be completely honest here, but he didn't have any other flyers, I don't think, so... Oh no, he had Crobat, but that's not a big deal because I have Ice Beam, so... It's not a huge loss if he brings in Crobat here. I'm just hoping he... Yeah, yeah, no, I was, was going to say, I, I hope he expects the, um... 
the uh, the Scald, because he can survive a Scald pretty easily. Um, we're going to see Storm Drain. Wow, that's cool. Um, took my Storm Drain right from me. Uh, but we, we went for Earth Power, so it's not a big deal. We don't have to go for Scald. Um, that's actually a pretty solid play, because if I went for Scald, he would have gotten a plus one. Um, so we're gonna see an Iron Head, which is kind of interesting. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take that pretty well because Skarmory is not very strong. Uh, but I'm gonna switch into my Rotom here because I want to keep Aromatis alive. Um, I'm gonna go for another Earth Power on the Gardevoir, and I'm gonna switch into my Rotom because I can take an Iron Head incredibly well. Um, but at least I got some footage last last episode for Shuckle, so that'll be very great for the uh, the. Um, episode of Competitive Corner that we'll be doing next week about Shuckle. Um, so I'm going to withdraw here. We're going to go into Rotom Heat, which he's definitely going to switch out the Skarmory for. Probably into the Heatran, which I'm going to 100% just kind of uh, uh, Volt Switch out on. Um, but he does Mega here, which kind of makes me think we're not... Actually, we did a lot of damage to that guard of one switch, and we might be able to take her out here. And we do! Beautiful! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Got rid of her Mega. Um, and we take the Iron Head incredibly well. So the question is, is he going to bring in the Heatran here? Probably not, because he wants to be able to take it out. And we do see the Haxorus come in here. So I'm going to Volt Switch on that Skarmory. Um, and I'm going to Ice Beam this Haxorus. And we'll see what that does for us. Uh, so Volt Switch onto the Skarmory. Ice Beam onto the Haxorus. I'm expecting a switch out into the Heatran next turn. Please don't tell me I'm wrong. Even if he doesn't, I mean, the Skarmory can't do anything to me, so I'll, I'll get a good chunk off with Volt Switch anyway. Um, and if he wants to go for Rock Slide, I'll just, you know, bring in my Aromatisse, which I think I will, because Trick Room probably ends this turn, if I am to recall. I think, I think it ends this turn. It, it, it feels like it's been four turns. Uh, so we get the Ice Beam off. How much does that do? That, wow, that does a hell of a lot of damage. Um, we get the Volt Switch off. Wow, that does a hell of a lot of damage. Um, yeah, I don't even need to overheat that Skarmory. We're in a pretty solid position, I'd say. Uh, so I'm going to bring in my Aromatisse, which might be a little risky, but I think Trick Room ends here, so I kind of have to. Um, toxic. Interesting. Um, okay. An Earthquake. Oh, he's got Mold Breaker. That makes a lot of sense. I'm glad I switched out of there. Uh, oh, and Life Orb. Wow, okay, so he just straight up killed himself there. Um, do we get the Trick Room over? I think we do. No! Oh, wow, we have one more turn. That's good. That's really good, actually. So, um, best scenario, pop the balloon on Heatran, Scald the the uh, Skarmory, because it probably has like Rocky Helmet or something. Um, so pop the balloon with my Aromatisse, knock him down. Um, we'll probably lose Aromatisse this turn, but we'll at least get rid of the Skarmory, who's a, probably a big threat to my team. Uh, and then we'll lose both Gastrodon and Arom Actually, we probably won't lose Gastrodon. We'll probably have at least one more turn, but with no Trick Room, it's not going to be, you know, that great for us. Um, but I can bring in Rotom, and Rotom can, you know, Volt Switch and stuff, and, and Heatran really can't touch, uh, Rotom, so that'll be good. Uh, so he's not gonna protect either of them, we get a crit that did nothing for us, um, but we'll at least take out the Skarm right here. We popped his Balloon, so that's good. I wanted to get rid of the Skarmory because we know for sure that he has a Steel-type move, so if we get rid of that, that's good for us. We're going to see the Heat Wave. It avoids the Aromatisse. Uh, that's actually not bad. I mean, it's not, it's not a terrible thing because I'm, I'm not going to be able to set up Trick Room again anyway. Um, but now he basically dies to Earth Power. I mean, he would have died anyway even if he hit the Aromatisse. He's going to outspeed me though, so maybe he can get us beforehand, um, but we'll see. Dragon Pulse. Oh, that was a weird play. Uh, I know I can hit him super effectively, but don't know if I necessarily agree with that play. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna bring in my Rotom, I guess. No. Let's bring in Shuckle and start setting up. 
Let's do this. I want to set up Shuckle. I want to win with Shuckle, so let's go. Let's, uh, let's actually Shell Smash first. Let's get a little bit of a Draining Kiss off. Dragon Pulse is an interesting move on Heatran. I wonder if he has Flash Cannon. I mean, because all in all, I mean, Rotom Heat should be able to beat him, and that's my win condition, so I could have just switched into there, but I can't pass up an opportunity to set up Shuckle. I can't. Um, so we're going to try. Now, Shuckle's like the slowest freaking thing in the game. It has 9 speed right now, and that's like completely negative and stuff. How much does the Heat Wave do? Not nearly enough to even KO my Aromatisse. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna infest it. We're gonna drain a kiss again. And that is game. Because this should take him out by the time I can bring in Rotom Heat, which will be next turn. Um, and I can just keep setting up shell smashes, and that will be good. So yeah, he should take me out with Heat Wave. I hope he takes me out with Heat Wave. He does take me out with Heat Wave. Beautiful. Shuckle can take like three more of those, um, but I'm gonna be getting another, of course, uh, Shell Smash up, so I should be able to take at least four more of those. And Rotom Heat, of course, is just gonna be able to finish him off with a few Volt Switches. So I'm gonna go for Shell Smash, I'm gonna go for Volt Switch, and that should be game ish. Probably another turn, but it should be game. He might forfeit, actually. Might forfeit. I wouldn't doubt it if he forfeited. That would make the most sense for, to me. Um, so what are you gonna do, Rossi boy? Come on, Rossi. Come on. Can't time stall either because I have more HP and more Pokemon. There's no way you can beat me in enough time. So, yeah, I'm surprised he's not forfeiting. Uh, let's see if he has Flash Cannon. He might. How much is this going to do, though? This is this is the real... Oh, that does a lot, actually. Oh, we see a Dark Pulse. Interesting set. I don't... Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Awkward. Um, but there's, it's guaranteed to do at least four turns, and that was only the second turn, so we'll definitely take him out uh, with another one. I'm going to go for another Shell Smash again. Um, Volts. Actually, I want Shuckle to get the kills, so we're going to protect with my Rotom. Oh, he forfeits. Damn. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Peace.